Hello! In this video, we would be discussing about how to find out whether the two given strings are anagrams. Two strings are called anagrams if they contain the same characters in different order. So as we see in the example here, act and cat, they are anagrams as they have the same characters. Let's take a closer look at these strings. When we look at these strings, to check whether they are anagrams, the first thing we should take into consideration is their length. As two strings with unequal lengths cannot be anagrams. In this case, the lengths are equal. So we move forward and now we compare the characters of both the strings. We pick the first character A and then we check if character A is present in the second string. Yes, it is present. So we move forward in the first string, we pick the next character that is C and we check whether it is present in other string. Yes, it is present. Now we move to the last character T and we check whether it's uh, present in second string. It is present in the second string. So we see that all the characters are matched. Hence, the two given strings are anagrams. So this is a straightforward approach that comes to mind when we look at two strings. In, it can be converted into code However, it won't be an optimized approach as the time complexity for this approach will be order n square. In order to take more optimized approach, we would be using hash map. We will follow these two simple steps. In the first step, we will populate the hash map by iterating over the first string. And in a map, the key parameter would hold the character and the value parameter would hold the number of occurrences of that character. In the second step, we will iterate over the second string and check whether the current character in the second string has occurrence in the map. So if it has a zero occurrence, it means the given strings are not anagram. If, uh, it, uh, if the character has one occurrence in the map, we will remove the entry from the hash map. If the character has more than one occurrence, then we will decrement its value by one. Let's try to understand this approach with the help of example. So we have this example here. The first string is silent and the second string is listen. Let's follow those two simple steps. So we will iterate uh, over the first string and this is our map and the key will hold the character and value will hold the occurrences of that character. So we will first iterate over the first string and populate in the hash map. I has occurrence 1, L has occurrence 1, and so is uh, E and T. Now we iterate over the second string and we check whether the characters are present in the hash map. So we start with the first character L and we check in the map. Our map contains L and it has a occurrence 1. So we remove the entry from the hash map. Now we move to the next character i and it has a, a presence in the map with occurrence 1. So we remove its entry from the hash map. So as the case with s, it is present in the map. It has a occurrence 1. We remove its entry from the map. And uh, t, we remove its entry from the map. e, we remove its entry from the map and n as well. Now in the end we check whether uh, our hash map is empty. In this case, it is. An empty hash map implies that all the characters in both the strings have been matched with each other. Hence, the two given strings are anagrams. Let's take one more example. So this is a non-anagram example. We will follow the same two steps, populating the hash map by iterating the first string. Let's start. We start with the first character T. It has occurrence 1, second character A at occurrence 1 and now we see that it, this string has a duplicate character A. So we increment its value by 1 in the hash map. Now we iterate over the second string to check whether the characters in the second string are present in the map. So we start with the first character T and we check it is present in the map. So we remove the entry from the hash map. And we move to the next character A and we check whether it is present in the map. It is with a number of occurrence 2. So we decrement its uh, value by 1. 
now we uh, move to the next character it is p and we we check that our map does not contain this character so we return from here declaring that the two strings are not anagrams so we are done with the examples here i will recommend you all to try to understand this concept and once you are done understanding this concept you can watch the next video in that video i have explained the code and also about the time complexity for that link is in the description box till then happy coding and keep smiling